Did you ever consider the profound impact of music? It's not just a combination of notes and rhythms, but a powerful universal language that shapes our emotions and memories, and even our identities. Picture a world without music, a silent film, a party, or a morning jog, hard to envision, right? That's because music is woven into our lives, influencing our moods, enhancing celebrations, and offering solace during tough times. Music's diversity is fascinating. From classical symphonies to electronic beats, from country ballads to African drums, each genre, song, and note tells a story, reflecting our collective human experience and our individual emotions. But music is more than just sound. It's a journey of self-discovery. As we explore different genres, we learn about cultures, histories, and perspectives, connecting with others and understanding ourselves better. So what's the core message? Music is a powerful language that shapes us, connects us, and helps us discover ourselves. It's not just about the sounds, but the emotions we feel, memories we create, and the connections we make. So next time you listen to your favorite song, remember, you're not just listening to music, but experiencing a snippet of our collective human story. Ever wonder why the music from the shower sounds better than any concert you've ever been to? Puzzling, isn't it? But it's not as perplexing as you'd think. The explanation lies in the unique structure of your bathroom and the acoustic properties that it possesses. A bathroom, unlike any other room in your house, typically has hard, smooth surfaces such as tile or porcelain. This lack of soft surfaces and fabric that are usually found in other rooms means that there is less absorption of sound. As a result, the sound, in this case the notes of your favorite songs, bounce off these hard surfaces, creating a sort of echo, which you the feeling of being surrounded by the music, much like you would be at a live concert. Moreover, the relatively small size of most bathrooms coupled with their specific shapes often works wonders. Sound waves travel in all directions until they hit a surface. In smaller spaces, the sound waves have less distance to travel before they are reflected back, which creates a kind of amplification effect. This is why your voice seems so much louder and more resonant in the shower than in any other place. Then there is also the water. Ever noticed how the music starts to sound significantly better once you turn the shower on? That's not your imagination playing tricks on you. The sound of the water acts as a kind of white noise, providing a backdrop against which your voice stands out. Also, the steam from the hot water helps in lubricating your vocal cords, giving your voice a smoother, more quality. But there's more to it than just the physics of sound. There's also a psychological element at play. When you're in the shower, you're in your own little world, free from judgment and criticism. This sense of comfort and privacy can enhance your perceived singing ability, making you feel like a true rock star. The bathroom thus becomes a miniature concert hall, perfectly designed to boost your vocal performance. It's a magical place where you can let go of your inhibitions and freely express yourself through song. That's why your impromptu shower concerts seem to outshine even the most spectacular live performances you've ever attended. So next time you're belting out your favorite tune while scrubbing down, remember, you're not just a shower singer, you're a bathroom rock star. The science and psychology behind it all are just there to reiterate the fact that your bathroom has been your personal soundstage all this while without you even realizing it. Now, speaking of rock stars, did you know that the Beatles were once called the Quarrymen? This might come as a surprise, but it's true. It's an interesting piece of trivia that adds another layer to the rich tapestry of rock and roll history. This seemingly insignificant piece of information showcases just how far these legends have come. How they started from humble beginnings, evolving and refining their identity until they became the iconic band we all know and love today. And no, they weren't spending their time digging rocks. The name might suggest a group of hard-working laborers, but these individuals were craftsmen of a different sort. They weren't physically chiseling away at hard stone, but they were metaphorically carving out a unique sound and style that would revolutionize the music industry. They labored tirelessly in studios, pouring their heart and soul into every song, every note, every lyric. They were too busy making rock and roll history, not just participating in it but actively shaping it. They pushed experimented with different genres and sounds and always dared to be different. They took risks, and these risks paid off, catapulting them to unparalleled heights of fame and success. Just imagine if they had stuck with that name. Hey, by the Quarrymen just doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? The Beatles is a name that commands attention, it implies a certain level of greatness that is hard to match. 
it's become synonymous with innovation, creativity, and musical prowess. The Quarryman, while it has its own charm, just doesn't carry the same weight. And speaking of rings, let's delve into the life of Ringo Starr for a moment. His contributions to the Beatles are immeasurable. His unique drumming style formed the backbone of many of their hit songs, giving them a distinct rhythm and feel. His playful persona added a light-hearted touch to their performances, making them fun and engaging. He was always heart and soul of the band, keeping the energy high and the spirits up. He's famous for his unique drumming style, but did you know he's actually left-handed? This might not seem like a big deal, but in the world of music, it's quite unusual. It's not unheard of, but it certainly sets him apart from the majority of drummers. It's just another testament to Ringo's unique character and unmatched skill. Yep, that's right. He plays a right-handed drum set with a left-handed style. This goes against the norm. It's not something you see every day. It's a testament to his ability to adapt, to be different, and to always push the envelope. His unconventional style added a unique flavor to the Beatles' music, making it stand out in a sea of similar sounds. Talk about marching to the beat of your own drum. That's exactly what Ringo Starr, and indeed the entire Beatles, did. They weren't afraid to be different, to challenge the norms, and to create something truly unique. Whether it was their music, their style, or their attitude, they always dared to be different. They broke the mold, and in doing so, they changed the world. Now while we're on the topic of beats, have you ever wondered why your foot just can't help but tap along to a catchy tune? Well it's not because your foot has a mind of its own, it's because your brain is wired to respond to rhythmic patterns and beats in music. So, when your foot starts tapping, it's not a sign of impatience, it's a sign of your brain having a good time. But of course, not everyone's brain responds to music in the same way. Just ask the people who experience a rare condition called amusia. These poor souls can't perceive music in the way most of us do. They might hear a beautiful symphony as nothing more than a jumble of noise. One can only imagine what they think when they hear Baby Shark. And speaking of sharks, let's dive into the world of underwater music. Yes, you heard that right. Underwater concerts are a thing. Musicians perform inside water-filled tanks, using specially designed instruments. The music is then transmitted to the audience through speakers submerged in the water. It's a whole new way of making a splash in the music industry. Now let's round off with a little bit of musical humor. Why did the pianist keep banging his head against the keys? Because he was playing by ear. And there you have it. From why your shower concert sounds so good, to the left-handed beats of Ringo Starr, to the underwater music that's making waves, the world of music is full of fascinating facts and funny anecdotes. It's a never-ending symphony of sound that keeps our feet tapping and our hearts humming along. And let's not forget the poor folks with amusia who probably wish they could just hit the mute button on the world. So next time you're singing in the shower, remember, you're not just a bathroom rock star, you're a musical maestro, making magic in the most melodic of ways. Just be careful not to slip on the soap. From the echoing chants of Gregorian monks to the electrifying beats of EDM, the world of music has evolved tremendously over the centuries. Classical music, with its complex harmonies and orchestral arrangements, ruled the roost for the longest time, before giving way to the rebellious strains of rock and roll in the mid-20th century. Then came the smooth crooning of pop, the rhythmic flow of hip-hop, the soulful tunes of R&B, and the myriad of other genres that color our musical landscape today. This evolution has been heavily influenced by both culture and technology. As societies changed, so did their music. The African diaspora brought with it the birth of jazz and blues, while the post-war era saw the rise of rock and pop. Meanwhile, the advent of electronic instruments and digital technology opened up a whole new world of possibilities, leading to the creation of genres like techno, house, and dubstep. And as for the future, well, who knows? Maybe we'll be jamming to alien beats or vibing to the rhythm of quantum harmonics. The beauty of music is that it's always changing, always growing, a reflection of who we are and where we're going. So whether you're headbanging to heavy metal or swaying to smooth jazz, remember, you're not just listening to music, you're experiencing a piece of human history. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to write the next chapter. Music is not just a form of entertainment, it's a powerful social tool. Throughout history, music has played a pivotal role in social movements, becoming the voice of the voiceless and the rallying cry for change. From the protest songs of the 1960s civil rights movement to the anthems of the anti-apartheid struggle in South Africa, music has always been there, 
amplifying the messages of justice, freedom, and equality. But music's social impact isn't just about politics, it's also about unity. Music festivals, concerts, and even simple jam sessions can bring people together like nothing else, transcending boundaries of race, culture, and nationality. In these moments, it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. All that matters is the rhythm, the melody, the shared human experience of music. And let's not forget the therapeutic effects of music. Research has shown that music can reduce stress, alleviate depression, and even help manage pain. It's a natural healer, a source of comfort and solace in difficult times. Some even say that music is the closest thing we have to magic, and they might not be wrong. So next time you listen to your favorite song, remember, it's not just music, it's a social revolution. It's a bridge, a healer, a catalyst for change. And who knows, maybe one day, your playlist will be the soundtrack to a better world.